Hi everybody, this is Julian from RC. In this video, I'm very happy to introduce a new model called Spotlight. Spotlight is a visual language model that lets us interact with image content using natural language. First, I will demonstrate Spotlight in our inference platform called Model Engine, and then I'll demonstrate it programmatically using the OpenAI API. Ready? Let's play with images. I already showed you the Model Engine in a previous video but in a nutshell, the model engine is our inference platform hosting our small language models and letting you use them with APIs that are compatible with the OpenAI APIs and with pay per token billing. Feel free to check the product page and the previous video. I will put all the links in the video description. Okay, but now let's take a look at Spotlight. Here's the list of our CSLMs that are available in model engine. And we can see that Blitz, which I covered recently is uh, already there. Uh, but let's click on Spotlight. Uh, we can see that Spotlight is a 7 billion parameter model. It's actually based on a Quant25VL, improved by our amazing research team. Context length is 32K and pricing is 10 cents, a million tokens input, 40 cents output. Okay, let's try Spotlight with a, an image. Here it is, and we're gonna go with a, a simple prompt and see what comes up. So the image is this, right? RCAI on the NASDAQ building a few months ago. Cool stuff. And let's see, the image shows a bustling urban scene likely in a financial district dominated by a large colorful advertisement on a building. The ad is for RCAI and announces a 24 million Series A raise led by Emergence Capital. This is pretty cool. The area is busy with pedestrians and vehicles, including a truck. Yes, well, a couple of trucks actually. Construction cones, yes. Ongoing work, well, it is New York after all. <laughs> the sky is clear and blue, suggesting a sunny day, yep. Okay, well, this is a pretty cool uh, description. It's quite a complex picture, and it did pick up uh, a lot of the elements, and uh, I'm actually surprised how well it picked up the, the text and the logo, which you know, usually is a problem for a, a, lot of, uh, a lot of image models. They're not too good at picking up text. Okay, so this is good, it's working. Uh, now, of course, let's give it a shot with the API. As mentioned before, Model Engine uses the OpenAI API, which is pretty cool because it means we can use the OpenAI client and the only thing we have to do is just change the URL, point at the Model Engine URL. Okay, uh, and then the rest is just vanilla uh, OpenAI, so the endpoint, uh, the API key, which you get when you sign up to the uh, model engine and um, an HTTP2 client because that's what model engine uses for efficiency, okay? And of course, we define a model name to Spotlight. Okay, so let's just run the client. And then I have a small utility function to print out uh, streaming responses. Okay, so let's just run this too. Now let's try an image. So here's my image, pretty recognizable and my prompt will be, where was this picture taken? When we work with images here, uh, we can pass them to the model in two ways. The first way is to simply pass the URL, just like this. Okay, so here's the prompt and here's the URL. And as usual, we can set the typical parameters. Here we have streaming enabled. And let's just run this and see what happens here. Okay, the picture appears to have been taken at the Arc de Triomphe, yes. The fireworks and the tricolor, red, white, and blue smoke trails are reminiscent of Bastille Day celebrations, which usually occur on July 14th. <laughs> this is right, okay. Uh, military parades, Champs-Élysées, etc., etc. So, well, it was, a, it was an easy image, but the description and the context is great and uh, and once again you saw how fast this model was let's just run that again 
And this is simply because it is a small model. It's a 7B model, very lightweight. So inference is blazing fast, which is great if you, uh, if you need to process a lot of images. If you want low latency, this, this is what you want. Here's another one. Write a short and precise caption for this picture. Air show over the Arc de Triomphe of colorful trails paint the sky above the Champs-Élysées. Why not? Okay, so we can use this for different tasks, descriptions, captioning. And uh, one of my favorite is really um, metadata generation, because when you have a lot of images to process, yes, maybe you want a caption, but generally you'll want more and, and you'll want that data in a specific uh, format that you can ingest in a, in a data store. And then, you know, for image search or similarity search or content management, anything goes. So let's try generate JSON metadata for this picture, country, city, landmark, short description, detailed description, themes, keywords, you know, whatever, okay? And here it comes, okay? France, Paris, Arc de Triomphe, short description, detailed description, themes, keywords, etc. So again, a super fast answer. Uh, pretty uh, elaborate answer. Of course, you could tweak uh, the prompt and make it way better. Uh, but you see the interest of those uh, visual language models, right? It's uh, not only interacting with images using natural language, but it's also generating uh, text content from images. And in this case, um, structured content, and metadata content. So millions of applications for this. So that's the first way to work with images, pass the URL. Uh, another way is to pass the image in line. Um, and in this case, we have to load the image and encode it in the base64 format. Okay, so that's the purpose of this function here. Just load the image, return the base64 string. Okay, and now I can do this, I can just load the image and pass it in line in the query. And yes, it is still called image URL, but as you can see, we are passing the base64 content in line. Okay, so should works the same, right? We get the same results, except this time, you know, we're passing the image, you know, which might be more convenient if you have a ton of local images and you don't want to access them over HTTP. So that's what I wanted to show you today. RC Spotlight, our new VLM, and I'm sure you can put it to work in many interesting ways. If you want to try it, just go to models.rc.ai, sign up for the model engine, and you can start testing immediately. And of course, you can try all the other models too, not just Spotlight. Okay, well, that's it for Spotlight, and I'll see you soon with more content. Until then, you know what to do. Keep rocking.